Hello future aviators and simmers alike. This is Jason from JM Simulations and welcome to my desktop. I know this is a little different, but that's because we're focusing on a little different topic today. We're gonna to be focusing on improving your flight simulator X performance and now I know it's on the title improving your flight simulator X performance, but this actually can work for a lot of games that use the CPU or central processing unit to function rather than the GPU mostly. Now Flight Simulator X falls in that category of games using the majority of their CPU and it's supposed to work like that in theory but sometimes and for the majority of people it just doesn't work like that. So today we're going to be showing you a few tips and tricks so you can get it to that level of performance without sacrificing what the quality needed for you to enjoy your sim. So if you follow me, we can do this together. To your internet browser, I'm using Chrome, but you can use whatever you like. It doesn't matter, and I benchmarked it for, by bookmarked it for you. We're gonna go to the tweaking tool. Of these, all of these will be linked in the description, so you don't have to look it up. So it's gonna show you. We're gonna come over here, and the first thing we see are things that you have to actually manually put in. So. Well, I'm a, you don't you will need you won't need to put in the I don't knows because I'll teach you how to how to actually figure that out if you don't know already. So first off it says how many CPU slash threads show in the task manager. Now what is the task manager? It's okay, I'm gonna show you this right now. We open up this by right clicking this bar over here and start the task manager. You're gonna click on that. Now why? Me having the I seven I have eight threads and four cores. Now we don't need to know the specifics but right now but all we need to know is that what I have and how that correlates to this. So right now since it counts eight I'm going to drop down and put eight. Okay is hyper threading active as I said before I have an i7. i7s and i3s are the processors that have hyper threading. So I do. If you have an i5 or anything other than that, you do not have hyperthreading. I'm sorry, but it doesn't really matter. And if you have an AMD processor or advanced micro devices processor, you will not have hyperthreading since this is an Intel only, Intel exclusive feature. Okay. So, what is the speed of your CPU? I currently have overclocked my 920 to 3 gigahertz and gigahertz is just speed okay it's nothing it's nothing to worry about um and so i'm gonna click that and if you do not know how fast yours yours is i don't believe you can look at it by looking at this so where do we find it i'll show you I'm gonna click the start button go to computer right click that and search down to properties and you're gonna look at this. Now I have currently overclocked it and the Windows doesn't really recognize the speed that it's running at, so we're put down a, a speed of two point five three, which is not accurate. I don't know why they did that, but if you did an overclock or you or if you did have not done anything to compromise this, then it would be what it says right here. So we're going to put around 3 gigahertz as one line is, it falls in line with this. What type of video card do you have? Um, I have a low end video card. So we're going to put low end right here. Not the best, not the worst, just middle. Would you like the V-Sync fix applied? Now I would because um, I like many things at a steady frames per second. I don't like it to spike up or spike down. I just like it extremely smooth. Now this can reduce performance slightly. It's okay. My CPU will compensate for it. But if you don't want it to, you you like it le as you like it. You can leave it off or on. You can experiment. Hell, this takes two seconds. Now we're gonna leave this on normal. If you put this on conservative, this mostly makes suggestions, and um, it doesn't really fix anything for you. But if you put it on normal, it will fix stuff for you. So that's about it. So right now, we're just going to copy this because we'll, this will be very helpful. Up to here will be fine. This will be very helpful in the beginning so you don't have to look above or look for what you need. 
going to click this and select the configuration file and it's picked it up so we're going to click here to begin and already here it tells you stuff that um it won't be all green for you if, if you have not done this but um it will it will give you some suggestions to say what things it it tweaked you can read this all um I'll stop here for a couple of seconds so you can pause it and read it but um it's fine so right now we're gonna don't forget this you you it will not it won't be um you're gonna have to download it congratulations applied uh, you can the file and so everything I won't download it, anything because everything that I have already here it's already in my configuration file it's already there but what you would do is download it okay go over here the configuration file and just swap them in and out and it's gonna ask you whether to um, replace it and you're gonna approve the the change you're gonna wanna replace it and right then and there you should get around 15 frames per second increase depending on your computer specs that's what I've gotten and it's quite amazing you may be skeptical but trust me it will work okay so right now if you have done this part and you're still with me I want you to go right here to our second link in the description box and this is to disable the the CPU core parking like the core parking and this is a real big problem in Windows 7 where you um this is where the CPU practically tells itself or um to when to spool up or when to slow down so to say so if you're using non extensive like programs it will significantly slow down to match which to match what you're doing now um this isn't very optimal because you want your CPU using the f using as much power as it can so it can use so it can give as much power as it can get so this actually fixes the problem and this is practically found only in Windows 7 right now and this is one of the main fixes that Windows 8 has made to Windows 8 um, versus Windows 7 so if you see things as saying optimize for Windows 8 or um, maximum um, threshold of what this thing can run w on would be on Windows 8 this is because Windows 8 has fixed this and you can fix this on Windows 7 just as much as you can with keeping everything that you love in Windows 7 and having the performance of Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 so right now we're going to go down here and we're going to download it and what you're going to need is WinRAR or 7-Zip to extract it. So we're going to click on that once and we're going to drag this to our desktop so it can be a little easier to run with. And open this. And what you're going to do is click here and it's going to bring you up to here. This will take a while but it's okay. We're going to check the status of our CPUs to see whether or not they're parked or whether or not they're unparked. Now, so if you brought your computer, say from Alienware, um, maybe they unpark it for you already, so you can have that already extra boost. But say if you built it, it's going it, it was going to be parked by default. So now mine, I already did this. I already um did this for my personal benefit for games and word to the wise this actually works for a lot of games this actually is one of the main benefits that you can get when running say battlefield 4 3 any cpu intensive game will benefit you will see even more of a performance boost than you would in the last um the last tweet that i showed you guys so say if there see if you say part if you see parked and not unparked if you see parked you're gonna select unpark all. I'll unpark it just in case. It does. It shouldn't matter. And this is gonna search the reg a registry of regic edit in your computer and make some changes. And once you're done with that, I want you to restart and come back to this video so you can see the third and the final way to fix up your um, flight simulator X and performance in general in games. We're gonna close this and move this to the recycling bin since we don't need this anymore this already saves into your registry so it's fine I'm gonna go back to uh, the internet and we're gonna go to CC cleaner 
Now this is very useful. I don't know how useful it can be. I can I, I'll download it for you guys again. I'm gonna get the free version. Okay, and it shouldn't matter um where you get it from because it's it's a nice download. So say once you download this, you read all of this and you downloaded it. I'm gonna exit out of this, we don't need this anymore. You're gonna get this CC cleaner or C cleaner, sorry, excuse me. And it's gonna show up like this and it's gonna show you a little bit of your um default um specifications what you have in your computer, what you're running on. And what the main thing that you're gonna wanna do, say period say like every day, say you delete something or you make a change to something now that actually gets tracked in your computer and even though you may have deleted it it's still not off of there so certain files can linger around and that can actually take away from your performance not only in games but in general so to actually take away this or to prevent this from happening we'll run this the c we'll analyze to see if it actually needs it and then we'll run it but I already did that so right now this should take a little bit less time so um we're gonna see we're gonna go to the registry and we're gonna scan this for issues let's see how many of mine see already and I ran this in the morning actually just to let you know I ran this in the morning and look how many registry errors I have okay um we're gonna fix all of these we don't need to make a backup and this shows you what happens let's see shows you the solution they did and what was happening so we're gonna fix all of these and close and it's just as simple as that so hopefully and actually most definitely what happens is if you follow all these to the letter all of my guides lines to the letter you will get around to say a 30 FPS boost and the uh, the quality of what you have been playing is very it's going to be very stable. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial of how to get your PC running faster, cleaner, and more efficiently. And just remember, this is JNM Simulations. If any, if you have any questions, leave a question in the description box. We'll get to you in the same day. Okay, we're very good on that two in the same day remember to hit a like if you like things like this um subscribe if you haven't already and have a nice day if you if i did something wrong tell me i'll make another video doing something that you recommended we're very community community communityly whatever friendly okay we, we will take suggestions and we'll implement them to our videos so thank you from jason all the way to you guys. Have a nice day and thank you for watching.